Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 23rd of November 2022. It is late night evening here already in Bangkok and this is only my second puzzle of the day. Uh, although actually it's not because I have played this game already, I have to tell you. No, it's not one of those that, that the New York Times is repeating. I mean, I just played it uh, like a, an hour or so ago. And um, I was playing in the middle of a storm. You might be able to hear the end, the tail end of the storm. But I was shouting over the microphone. I was interrupted twice by, by telephone calls. And it was a fluke. Uh, and I recognized it as I was playing the game. I realized it was a fluke. But it was a game that I needed to use pencil marks to do. I did find a single. And uh, I'm going to replay the game now. Uh, I'm not going to bother to play it candidate notation free rather uh, I will be using pencil marks um, as I think I'm, I'm gonna need them I'll just uh, I will show you where I found the single as well if I find it again that is it's been an hour I've probably forgotten it by now so um, here we go again with this game for me now uh, what did I see before something about fours here we go right fours blocking across like this and the four down here so as I said, this is not a new game for me. I have already played it once. Four is blocking up here like this. So hopefully I'll be able to find some of the stuff pretty quickly. And actually should make for a very short game with a bit of luck. Nine's blocking across here. Nine blocking. Oh, the rain's starting again. Oh, my goodness. The rain's only just stopped and now it's starting again. I'll be shouting again, I guess. It's just not my day for Sudoku, really, it's not. Seven across here, seven up, seven down. Seven fits into that square there. Uh, anything else that I spotted? Okay, so uh, I, I'm not sure. I can't remember what else I did, but I'm going to tell you that. Let's see if it still is... Uh, as it was a six let me see I think I this is where I found a single but I, th I think I, I may have found something else before I got here but anyway I do believe it's a six let's see it can't be one two three four five could be six not seven not eight not nine it is a six okay yes so I actually found that uh, I found it um, just by looking at I just happened to notice there were a lot of intersecting digits and I thought, is it a six? And I checked, and it was. Okay, but um, I don't know what else I did. I've forgotten now. Uh, but I'm going to, I think now, head for pencil marks immediately. Um, I can't remember if I did anything else or not. So let's just get on and do it. So one and two fit there. We have ones in these squares here, and that, of course, is going to give me a one down here because we've got left and right columns here. Okay, uh, we've got nines in these squares down here, and we've got nines in those squares there. I did finish the game, but I, I realized I'd, I'd left out a candidate, and that would have affected the uh, uh, actual. Uh, it was it was a fluke. It made it a fluke, um, in other words. So. Right, we have four blocking across here and four blocking up here. So that's going to put four into one of these two squares. This can't be four. This is a four. That's what I discovered once before. Fours go here and fours go here. Right, okay. Twos are there. Threes are here. Um, eights are somewhere along the top there as well, of course.
Uh, I can't. Okay, I can't remember if anything else uh, needs to be done, but I shall um, just get on. I'm going to start. Um, hmm. Where did I find the? <laughs> I'm trying to think where I found something. Uh, where did I find? What did I find? Where did I find? I've forgotten now. Never mind. Uh, let's just get on and fill in the rest of the candidates. So we've got one um, still. Uh, possible like this, right? Two in the same squares. Five blocks across here like this. two blocks up here so twos go like this three blocks down here and three blocks across here like this so threes in those squares five blocks across here like this so five six blocking down here Eight blocking down here. And nine blocking across the middle. One down here. Three blocking down here. Uh, five, I think, can go anywhere, right? Um, six blocking down here and six across here, so in those squares, uh, eight blocking down here. Um, over on this side, one blocks up here, so we get ones in those squares. Uh, two blocks up here, so we have two possible there. Five blocks across here. And that's done. Okay, twos go here. Six, we don't know anything about six. Um, don't know anything about eight. One block's down here. Three blocks down here. Five also. Six blocks across there. And eight can go anywhere. Okay, over here now then, three blocking down here like this, so three in those squares, five blocking down the middle, seven blocks across here and seven blocks down there. Eight blocks down here.
And there's one more block to go. Let's fill it in. Don't know anything about twos. No. Three blocks down here and three blocks across here like this. So threes in those squares. Five blocks down here and five blocks across here. So five like that. Eight blocks down here. Okay, so now we have this is what I discovered before as well. So now we have a pair of two and eight. Now, this time I filled in all the candidates. Last time I messed it up because I missed the candidate. But now we can see that we have two and eight in these um, squares here. And that means that in this block we must remove any other twos or eights. So we can get rid of the twos there. And we also have eights in those squares. There's another one that's got to go. Right, so now this is the only two in this column. You'll notice no other twos allowed in this column now. So let's put the two there and let's remove, or let's put the one there. And I've got to do this more diligently. So I'm going to be removing candidates as I go along. So let's get rid of the twos there. And then here, let's get rid of these ones so I don't mess it up again. That's going to put a 5 into that square there. And down here and here, I've get rid of the 5s. That gives me a 6 in that square there. 8 in this square here now. Back over here is a 2. And that will be an 8. Down here is our 2. And let me do some more Pickford's removals. I've got six here already, so I've got to get rid of sixes there. And I've got to get rid of sixes along this row as well. Um, and something else I've got to get rid of over here. What is it? Oh, yeah, the eight. So that gives me uh, a nine in that square. And I've got eight and nine, so this has to be five. So that means that none of these three squares or these can be five. That's going to give me a five up here. Might as well get rid of these fives as well while I'm doing it. That gives me a one in this square, two in that square, nine in this square. The two blocks across here like this, so that's our two. Get rid of the twos like so. We have a pair of one and eight in this column now. That means that that eight is no longer valid. And this will have to now be a 6 because it can't be the 1 or the 8. So 6 here, that puts a 2 in that square there. Let's get rid of those 2s as well. Uh, this 2 means we have to remove these 2s, but we've got a 2 blocking this square here. So we shall get rid of 2 there as well and place our final 2 in that square there. Uh, right. Um, what else? I've got to remove something here. Well, there's a 9 there, which I don't need. So let's get rid of that. And there's something else there. Oh, yeah, 8s there that I can't use. So that's a pair of 4 and 6, which means we can get rid of the 6s down here and that 6 there. And that means now that 6 and that 6. 6 must appear in this square here. And we can get rid of the sixes across here now. Okay. And it's all looking much easier. Um, I think I'm just going to go through and see what's available. We've got one in this square for sure. Um, we have to remove candidate one from this column because we've got a one up here. Okay, two is actually complete now, so three, any changes on three? No, I think they can stay as they are. The fours, that's the same fives. Yeah, we got to get rid of all of these fives down here. 
And now this is the only five in the top row of the bottom shoot. So that goes there. Let's get rid of candidate five down there like that. We've got a unique rectangle here of 3737. And so this, uh, I'm going to remove the 3 and the 7 just to save a bit of time. It's actually not necessary. You can do it without, but I don't care. I, I, I always say there are valid means of uh, removal anyway, so let's get on with it. Um, what else are we looking for? Uh, we've got to remove eights across here. Okay. We've got eight here, so we've got to get rid of these eights. And when we do that, we're going to be left here with a three. And that means this is a five down here now. Let's get rid of those fives. Um... And this 5 means this has to be a 5 down here. Get rid of candidate 5 there. And we can place a 5 up here. We've got 3 here already, so let's get rid of candidate 3. Oh, excuse me while I shift around a little on the chair. Okay. Um... Where am I? Okay, so we've got a pair of three and seven here now, so this three cannot exist in that row. Okay, it looks a bit better. Okay, so nine blocks here. This is going to be a nine. And then this would be a nine over here. We can get rid of the excess nines like that. And that's going to give me a six in that square there. Get rid of the sixes like this and place a six down here. This is a six. This will be a four. And we're left with just one place for a four over here. 3 goes here, 8 is in this square, 8 blocks down here, putting an 8 over here. Let's get rid of the 8s down here now. we got a pair of 3 and 7. This has to be a 1, of course. So that gives me an 8 over here. We've got the 1 and 8. This will be a 3 then. So 7 there, 3 there. 7 blocking down here. That puts a 7 into that square. You're a 3, you're a 7. Um, what's left? Get rid of candidate three. Get rid of candidate three and seven there. Okay, let's move one and eight. So we've got the eight blocking across here. This is where the eight will go. The one goes there. One is there. Uh, last number here looks to be a three. We've got the one blocking up here, so that will be an eight. And to finish today's New York Times hard level puzzle done with candidates. Um, as I said, though, a second attempt. Um, that's it. I'm not going to play a third game today. Uh, I'm off to bed. Bye-bye.